Hi guys, those ones who are watching BTN TV. My candidates outside there watching BTN TV. Please, always I encourage you to stay watching BTN TV. It is the best TV that really provides you with education. Okay, just as you show, I'm teacher Fred. I've been, for those who have been following us, they know where we ended. I come from the side, which is the side. Remember from which school, Wisdom Center. It is found in which cellar district, Kalumuna. Okay, so I'm the doors of the school. At the same time, I'm the teacher handling P6 and P5 mathematics. Let's continue with the lesson. From where we ended, we said we're handling unit six and whoever was following us knows where we are. We said unit six deals with the ratios, proportions, percentages, and the mixtures. So we are still continuing with our topic, whereby today, uh, today's lesson is expressing fractions to percentages. Previously, we were handling how to convert percentages into fractions. So today it is the vice versa of the previous lesson. We want to see how can we express or how can we change or how can we convert fractions into percentages. Stay following. As we look at example one, which says convert, convert, one out of three, two percentage, two percentage. Let's look at the example. The example is requiring us to convert one out of three to percentages. So how do we convert this? How can we convert one out of three into percentages? This is what we are going to do. We shall first of all consider the given fraction, which is a third, or it is also known as one out of three. But for those, if they want to, uh, for those ones who may be asked, how can we write this in words? This is simply a third. Okay. So I'll be, I'll get my given fraction, which is one out of three. Then I'll say is equivalent to. How do we change fractions to percentages? Very simple. Put this in your minds. Whenever they give you a fraction and they want you to convert it into a percentage, just get the given fraction times the original percentage. What is the original percentage? 100%. So I'll get 1 out of 3 times the original percentage, which is 100%. Where are we going? We are changing everything to percentage. We are changing everything to percentage. This is the same as saying one out of three, okay, times 100 percent. Let's look at this. When we look at these percentage numbers, when we look at our numerator, our denominator, and the original percentage, you'll find out that none of these denominators, none of these denominators, so, 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 sorry, none of these numerators, remember 100 is also a numerator. So none of the two numerators is exactly divisible by any of these denominators here. Remember, we don't say divide by one, because once you divide by one, you'll get the same number. Okay, so what we shall do, we shall have to multiply this. We shall come up with one times 100 is equal to 100 percent divided by three. Divide by three. So let's look at this. When you look at 100%, 100 is too heavy to sit on 3. What does it mean? It means we have to make sure that we change this improper fraction into a mixed fraction. And what is an improper fraction? An improper fraction is a fraction where a numerator is bigger than a denominator. Where a numerator is bigger than 
a denominator. Okay? You find out that the number which is on top, which we refer as a numerator, is bigger than a number which is down, which we refer as a denominator. That is what we call an improper fraction. It is not proper. It is not proper. It is like saying, you, uh, for you, you lie down, then the car moves on you. That is an improper fraction because a car has more kilograms than you. But when we say for you, you sit in the car, okay, that is proper because for you, you are lighter than the car. So let's look at our question. The question is saying convert one out of three to percentage. So for us to change one out of three or a third into a percentage, we shall get a third times the original percentage. The original percentage is 100%. Now I'll get my given percentage. I mean, I'll get my given fraction, which is one out of three is equivalent to 1 out of 3 times 100 percent. Why are we multiplying by 100 percent? Because we are converting this fraction into percentage. Okay? So this is the same as saying 1 times 100 out of 3. And everything will be any percentage. When we get 1 times 100, it will give us 100 out of 3. And all this should be in a percentage. Okay? When we look at 100 out of 3, this is what we refer to as an improper fraction. It is not a proper fraction. It is an improper fraction. And what is an improper fraction? An improper fraction is the type of a fraction where a numerator is bigger than a denominator. This is a fraction where you find a person of 20 kilograms carrying a sack of 100 kilograms. That is what we call improper fraction. But in a situation where you find a person of 100 kilograms carrying a sack of 10 kilograms. That is what we call a proper fraction. So, since this is our improper fraction, we are going to divide it until we come out with what we call a mixed fraction. Or we are going to convert this improper fraction into a mixed fraction. How are we going to convert this? We shall come aside and we say, I'll have my side work here. I'll have my side work. I'll have my side work. And I'll say, what do I have? I have 100 divided by 3. Divide by 3. I'm going to cancel this out, or I'm going to divide this out. I'll come here and say, we are going to divide everything by this denominator. So I'll say, by 3, 1. When I look at 3, and a 1, you'll find out that 1 is less than 3. So I will take 10. 10 divided by 3. You realize that 3 goes into 10 3 times only. That will be 3 times only. And 3 times only, that means that is 9. Which will give us a remainder of 1. The remainder which has remained in 10, you'll come with it, you'll come with it, and write it here. When you write it here, you'll make this 10. After making this 10, we shall also get this 10, we divide it by 3. Which will still give us 3. And what will be the remainder? 1. The remainder will be 1. After getting 33, remainder 1, we shall now write this as, we shall write this as a mixed fraction. We shall write this as a mixed fraction, whereby we shall have 33 as a whole number, and we shall have, that, uh, we shall have 3 as a denominator as it is. Then we shall have a remainder as a numerator. Okay? 
whereby we shall have 33 whole number, one out of three percent. After finding this from a side, as your side work, come this side where your work is and say by three, that is 33 remainder one. By three, one. Then this will give us the whole, uh, the 33 becomes our whole number. We shall say 33 whole number. What is the remainder? The remainder becomes our numerator. So we shall say 33 whole number, one, whole, uh, one out of 3%. This is our percentage. This is our percentage. We have now changed one out of three into percentage, which has given us 33 whole number, one out of three percent. Fine. This is the first example. Let's go to the second example and we see what it says. Second example. Second example says Express, this is example two. This is example two. Express one out of four as a percentage. As a percentage. Yes, that's another example which is related to the first example. The first example was one out of four. The second example, one out of three. The second example we have, ex uh, our question says, express one out of four as a percentage. At the same time, you can also say express a quarter. Express a quarter as a percentage. How can we change this or express this or convert this fraction into a percentage? Simple. As long as they have said convert into a percentage or change to percentage, what you do? Get the given fraction, which is 1 out of 4, is equal to, is the same as saying 1 out of 4 times normal percentage or original percentage which will be 100 percent so we are expressing this as a percentage by doing so we shall just get one out of four times 100 percent after there we shall come here to the next step don't cancel anything from here once you cancel anything from here you will not be showing clear methods. We have to see all the clear steps that are involved. So we shall have one out of four, copy the way it is, times 100%. This is the same as saying one times 100. At the same time, here we have also four times one. If having 100% and having 100% out of one, there is nothing I've changed. It is just the same. It is just the same. But in this case, I may not introduce for you one. I may leave it there. But even if you get anywhere where they have put out of one, it is the same issue. Don't get confused. So we want to look at these numerators and this denominator. We have one denominator and two numerators. One and this 100. Because we have said this is out of one. At the same time now, this also becomes a denominator. So we have two denominators, two numerators. We want to look at this. As long as you are multiplying, we can first of all cancel out. We shall say 100 is an even number. 4 is also an even number. So if they are all even numbers, what can we do? We shall say 
by 2. Remember all even numbers are divided by 2. So we shall reduce by saying, we want to reduce on this, fra uh, this fraction here. Shall say 4 divided by 2, which will give us 2. 100 divided by 2 will give us 50. Okay. Then from there, still continue looking at the example or the question. When you reach this step, do you think there is any denominator and any numerator which can be divided exactly without giving us a remainder? Yes, because 2 is an even number, 50 is also an even number. What does it mean? It is again divided by 2. So I will say by 2, 1. By 2, mm -hmm. it will give us 25. Now, we are having 1 times 25 percent out of 1 times 1. Which will finally give us 25 percent out of 1. Then, I'll come and look at my question, which is 1 out of 4 is the percent, the fraction they wanted us to change into a percentage. I'll come here and say, therefore, 1 out of 4 is equivalent to 25%. 25%. I'll get my ruler. I'll get my ruler. And underline my answer. And underline my answer. As I encourage everyone to keep this in mind, candidates, once you see a question saying uh, convert or change or express, it is the same. Keep that in mind. They can say change, they can say express, they can say convert. One out of four as a percentage. Once you see as a percentage, just get that fraction times the original percentage, which is 100%. Let's switch to example three. Let's switch to example three. Example three. As we are switching to example three, keep this in mind. Do you want to access this work? Simple. Just find what we call BTN TV. Then follow their journals on YouTube, on Instagram, Twitter account, Facebook. You will access whatever you want. At the same time, you can go to Wisdom Center website, Facebook, and their WhatsApp group. You'll have all the information which is required. Example three, what does it say? Example three, example three, example three says change. Example three says change. Change three out of four into into a percentage 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 into a percentage. It is three out of out of four. So we are on example three. I want us to look at that. They have said change three out of four into a percentage. Just like we have been following the first example, the second example, we are going to use the same method to find out the percentage of three out of four. This will be as three out of four will give us, we shall get the given fraction, which is three out of four, three out of four, times the original percentage, which is a, 100%. Why do we multiply with 100%? Because we are converting everything into percentage. Okay? So let's continue to the next step. I'll say 3 out of 4. 
times 100 percent. We are now converting this into percentage. We want everything to be in percentage. So when we look at this numerator and this denominator, with this 100, you realize that 100 can be divided by 4, right? When you look at 4, it is an even number. 100, it is also an even number. But the simplest way, this is what you have to know. That 4 goes into 125 times. 4 goes into 125 times. So how can we understand? By 4, 1. 10 divided by 4, 2. What is the remainder? It will be 2. That is 2, bring it here to make it 20. Then you say 20 divided by 4, it will be 5. So what does it mean? 100, uh, 4 goes into 125 times. So the next step, I'll come here and say 3 out of 1. Remember now we are, here, we are remaining with 1. Out of 1 times 25. All this should be in percentage. So, when you get 3 times 25, it will give us 75 out of 1. All this is in a percentage. Last step, I'll come and say, therefore, 3 out of 4 is equivalent to 75%. After getting my answer, I'll go and look for the ruler. I'll come and underline. Don't use a free hand. To make your work neat, you have to use a ruler. To make your work neat, you have to use a ruler. So after underlining, I call it my answer. For more information about this work, for those who would wish to have access to this work after the presentation in the studio, please just switch yourselves, get your phone, go, go on these journals. You'll find out everything you need related to this work that I've just explained. Go to PTN TV or television, the YouTube journal that is under BTN. Find everything on their Instagram, find everything on their Twitter account, find everything on their Facebook account. At the same time, if you're not contented with that, you can also use another alternative to get the same work on the following journals. Use Wisdom Center School, that was the school from Bujasera. Uh, go to their website, go to their Facebook, then for those who are already existing in parents' WhatsApp group of Wisdom Center School, they will also access that work through the group. Please stay tuned always. Follow BTN TV for education purposes. We wish you the best. BTN, our TV.